<laughs> Welcome to Online Outdoorsman Late Night Edition. Today we're going to be just drinking up a bunch of beer. And you can't complain about that, folks. You can't complain about that. See, we've got six beers here. And uh, one idea I, that came to me the other day was I should rank fish beers because what kind of fisherman doesn't like good beer unless you're under 21 in which case don't you try it don't you try it but i'm here with tyler he is the uh, co-host of this this episode and we are going to try different beers um and we are going to rank them based on flavor as well as label slash logo slash design you ready for a beverage let's do it what should we start with let's just go with the try the true let's go too hearted too hearted to start this is the too hearted by Bells, out of Comstock, Michigan. Look at this guy's, he's got a bass uh, bottle opener. Very solid. All right, we're just gonna do little tasters here. I'll pour you one up, bud. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I love IPAs. What's your favorite type of beer? Not IPAs. Really? What, what <laughs> or stout? Uh, stout. Stout in the winter, sour in the summer kind of guy. But I can appreciate a well done IPA. And this is one of those. Yes it is. Yes it is. My impression on this is it's a damn good IPA, but I've had it multiple times. So, I mean, it's not like this is really exciting for me, but it is a very, very good IPA. Um, but I think what's great about this beer is the simplicity and beauty of their label. Trout swimming across, in kind of like an aquatic scene. Nice color schemes with the green and the, the orange, very outdoorsy. Right. And it's something that when I first saw it on a shelf at a liquor store, I thought, well, I have to have it and I have to just guzzle them down. And upon doing so, I realized that it's delicious. We'll set it aside. Sure. I'll come back to you. Pacific Wonderland Lager by Deschutes. Oh, Bend, oh, Oregon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're doing this one, bud. Sounds good. Keep on moving and grooving. I've never had this one before, so this will be an experience. Talk a little bit about the label on that one. All right, we're gonna go left to right here. You read it, <laughs> well, or I guess not read it. <laughs> describe it, you describe sure. it. So starting at the left, we, we got some a stream, looks like there's half of a guy fly fishing. A little, couple, couple of yakkers out there, guys climbing some cliffs, some mountain bikes. There's the rest of the guy fly fishing. You know what disappoints me about this beer label? I love everything about it. It's so outdoorsy, it's blue, it's green brown. I mean, it's just total outdoorsy. It's got all sorts of water and trees. But here's what I don't like about it. The fly fisherman isn't even hooked up. He doesn't have a fish on. Oh. What the heck? Like, why not show him with a fish, guys? Show that the people that drink to shoots know what the heck they're doing. But by and large, I absolutely love this can. It's beautiful. And have you tried it yet? Not yet. Oh, it's delicious. Well, in my opinion. That is good. You could definitely I mean, drink a couple of those. I could drink a hundred of those. It's just a lager, but it's kind of got a sweet, it's kind of yeah. sweet. I want more. I feel like it's so good. I mean, it's just like liquid gold. You heard it here. It's good. I'm going to save my, uh, my official rank until the very end. That's fair. You know what? We were leaving just a little bit in the bottom of these, so we can always come back to it. That's true. Tyler's fiance brought up a great point. We need to factor in drinkability. How many am I going to be able to drink before being like, ugh, I can't do that anymore. That's a good That's very important. We gotta factor that in. And I'm not saying that these have to be for the fisherman while he's out there fishing. This could be the fisherman's best friend after a day of fishing. True. Should we do a trout slayer? Sounds good. I really want one of these. All right, trout slayer. And this one is uh, by Big Sky Brewing Company in, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Missoula, Montana. As far as the label goes, man, I don't think you can beat this. No. I, I think this clearly is the best so far. He knows what he's doing the most. Oh, big time. He's hooked up, he's, he's bringing it in, got the net and everything. And he's got a five o'clock shadow, if you notice that. Right. A little bit of a beard. Nice hat. Got some cowboy boots on. Yeah. Some type. And uh, let's hope he knows what he's doing when it comes to beverages. The flavor is obviously more important than the label, but, I mean, you gotta look cool with the beer you're drinking. I mean, unless you have a cool koozie. Cheers. Cheers. That's a wheat? Yeah, it's yeah. a wheat. Good. Uh, it's very refreshing. Yeah. It's very refreshing. It's not bad. I, like you said, I could drink like 10 of these and be like, I mean, I'd be, I might start drunk, but I would still be able to drink more. Right. Excited about this one. Are you? I am. I thought you said you were an IPA guy. I'm not. So here we have the Aloha Sculpin. Mm -hmm. On the label, we have 
a sculpin. With the name Aloha, I'd expect him to be like wearing a lei or like playing a ukulele or like something. The sculpin labels are all the same, they just change the color of the label. This is true. This is so true. maybe a little cre more, maybe a little more creativity ballast point. To be fair though, they did Aloha it up a little Ooh. bit on the top part. There's some there's some Floral flowers. Design. So yeah. gotta give it to him there. This is a hazy IPA. Hazy IPA, that means that we're gonna have a nice cloudier glass here. No, that's a trend I can get behind. <laughs> have IVs on it. Why is that a trend you can get behind? I I, I explain yourself. So the new trend of we're gonna get a little beer nerd here. So the new trend of the New England Isle style IPA, or the hazy IPA, it tends to be less bitter and more juicy flavored. And I tend to like those a little bit more. Ballast Point is based out of San Diego, California. You know, obviously, from a label perspective, this is a very tropical sculpin fish. I mean, these aren't exactly something that most people are going fishing for, but it is a fish beer, and I love fish of all types. I don't know about you, I mean, obviously I'm a largemouth, smallmouth bass kind of guy. I love chasing bass every day of the week, but I just think all fish are awesome, and I have a lot of respect for beautiful fish. So with a sculpin, I mean, it's really cool looking. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty gnarly, so I can get behind that beer. Give her a taste. Guzzle it. Immediately when it hits your lips, it's just like, wow, that's sweet. That's sweet. Definitely high on the drinkability. I was going to say the same thing. Look at this guy. We have been very lucky. We haven't ran into something today that is just trash. True. But one thing I must say, Ballast Point is big on the uh, putting fish on their labels game. Yeah, Ballast Point, you gotta respect the game. I mean, they're consistent. <clears throat> I gotta stop burping so much, man. My dad always says, it's better to burp and taste it than fart and waste it. <laughs> oh, it's late night online outdoorsman, folks. You're gonna get some weird stuff. Let's evaluate that for a minute. Let's take a break from the beers. Now, what he implies by that is that you want to, to taste the gaseous material coming out of your body. I mean, sometimes it's a waste. It's, sometimes right? it's nice. Like you're like, oh, I mean, I tend to disagree, folks. <laughs> Okay, we've got two more beers. I suppose we better work our way into this. Yeah, it's not really a beer. It's a, a Pacific Coast Dry Hard Apple Cider with Strawberry. Listen up, if any beer companies wants to sponsor this show, we'll go ahead and make a couple more episodes. All you gotta do is send us beer for life. And put a fish on the lid. And a thousand dollars. Anything else? Oh, that should do it. Lodi, California. And this is gluten free. Ooh, what a nice sound, folks. One of my favorite sounds, other than a splash of a bass smoking a top water, I'd say that's probably the number one. As far as label goes with this guy, you know, it's a flying fish, and it's got some sort of weird little guy flying a flag on it. I forgot to cheers you, bud. Yeah, I don't drink a lot of ciders. They're always good. Comment, <laughs> comment below what your favorite go-to light beer is when you just need something and you don't want to break the bank. Both of us choose Bush Light. This episode is actually sponsored. No, it's not. <laughs> Anybody knows someone that works for Anheuser? So we have the Thirsty Trout Porter. This is from Dark Horse Brewing in Marshall, Michigan. This is a porter. So totally different than anything we've tried so far. From a cider to a porter. Yeah, we're going from cider to the, the darkest of the dark. All right. Last one. You gotta smell it. it smells chocolatey. It smells so good. All right, porter guy. I like it. Why do you like it? It's very, I think it's really chocolatey. Um, which I don't know if, if you think of a trout, you think of chocolatey. But, I mean, the, to be fair though, the trout, oh, that's not the right one. To be fair, the trout is dead. So maybe it ate some chocolate. Oh yes, because trout are allergic to chocolate. As we all know, you do not want to feed your pet trout any chocolate. It's definitely not a trout skeleton. They call it thirsty trout. And I'm sorry, that doesn't look that's like a trout, trout to me. No. I've had much better porters. I, I like it, but I've had better. It is time to form the final judgment call of which one wins. We didn't have access to every fish beer out there, so you just gotta stay tuned. We maybe maybe we'll do another one of these. Just depends on 
Do you like it? Let me know. Drop a comment below. So in my opinion, number one is either two-hearted or trust there. Solely because when it comes to beer quality, we have two-hearted, which is probably the best of its type as far as IPA goes. One of the best IPAs out there. Trout Slayer, there's probably wheats that are in the neighborhood or better, but let's be real. I mean, this a, label. You can't beat that. You can't you beat serious label. label points. I think if I'm going out and I'm fishing for four or five hours, I'm taking Trout Slayer over well, Two Hearted. I'm 100% in agreement. I think Trout Slayer takes number one and Two Hearted is number two. Sounds good. Not taking anything away from the fact that Two Hearted is an amazing amazing beer. You know what? Tomorrow, if I was to do this again, maybe I would have chose Two Hearted. This is a clear, close run here. Very close. It's Very close. Yeah. Third place. Oh, don't you agree? I think it's already there. That's true. I think I'm gonna do do one of these. I was in the same, I was Just in the same boat. In the same fishing boat. Price is what's taking that one down a couple notches. So there we have it, folks. Bonus beer, bonus beer, bonus beer, bonus beer. This is called the catfish stomach. Then we might be onto something. A little bit. This is a nice color. But I smelled it already and it just smells like... You shouldn't have smelled it because that smells awful. Time for the catfish stomach. What do you think? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. It's not good, but it's not bad. If someone gave me one of these at like a, a barbecue, I would drink it. I don't know, this is starting to, starting to not taste great. Some of those heavier ones are sinking in the bottom. I'm man. tasting more like ethanol <laughs> as I drink it. What if we were to make a cool brewery that was themed around fish? Large mouth lager. Large mouth lager, yeah. And it's like, it's an all day drinker. Ooh, the small mouth stout. You know, the trout triple. Ooh. See, do we want to share this secret with you? <laughs> I think we can cut the video now. <laughs> hey, did you enjoy today's video? I don't know. Did you? I had a lot of fun. I have too. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you're drinking beer. How can you not have fun? We should do this more often. Would they agree? Hopefully. Hit the like button if you do. Ooh. Did you like the co-host? If you did, actually, he's linked in the description below. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic evening. And we will, ready, catch you next time.